Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Apparently you can't move your tripod around too much because it won't balance if you turn the thing, the circle in the middle. I've got a ring light here. I'm trying to get you to see my head. <laughs> hey, so welcome back to my channel. Today's video is about my BoxyCharm items that I got last week. Um, we opened them, saw what I was given, and I've had a little bit of time this week to play with most of the products. And I thought the best way to review these products is to go by least favorite to most favorite. So, let's get started, shall we? The first one that probably actually isn't my most favorite is the Pretty Vulgar Highlight. Um, I, I love their setting powder. That's one of the items I got in a BoxyCharm box a couple of months ago. But this highlighter is a very muted highlighter. If you can see the highlight I've got going on my nose, that's a different one that I went over top with. I put some pretty vulgar, oh, okay. I put this highlighter on this morning and it just wasn't giving me the payoff that I wanted. I would say in a business or professional work setting, you could use this and get a little bit of nice glow without feeling like you're overdoing it. But for me, I want my face to have the glow that shows I took some time. I worked on this face. Okay. Okay. Next least favorite is the Trace Steak. And the only reason for that, as I've mentioned, so what? Oh my gosh, hold on. I just realized this said something. Okay, let me finish my thought. I'm a liquid lipstick girl because I feel like it's a product you can put on. And I've said it a few times on my channel now. You don't have to worry about it getting on your teeth, or if you do, you can wipe it off, but it's not going to keep happening. It's a product that's going to stay on, and you're not going to have to reapply a lot. Um, the positive things about this, you can see, you know, it's a, it's a pretty color. It's a twist up, and when you put it back on, it's magnetized, so it's like pops back on. But I just noticed this little note right here. Do you see that? It says primer inside now I had no idea so if you prime your lips with this and then put the color on will it stay on longer I'll have to try that out but that is pretty neat how it's magnetized I mean just boom and you're done okay next item as we move up the list this is one that I actually haven't tried. It's the Clean Bee Ultra Gentle Facial Cleanser. And I will tell you why I haven't tried it. As you know, I sell Beauty Counter. And it's not that I dislike other skincare products, but I love my Beauty Counter products. I love what they do for my skin. And I'm not at a place where, excuse me, I really want to change that up or try something else. So this is definitely something that because I haven't used it, I need to give it to a friend. And I need to remember to do that instead of, you know, keep saying it, but you don't do it kind of thing. All right. The No Problem Primer. If you're over the age of 20, you know you've got pores that you want to hide when you put your makeup on. Nobody wants those things being like, hello. So, um, this has been good. I will say this week for makeup, I haven't been really using a foundation. I've been using my Dew Skin by Beauty Counter because it's got that SPF 20 in it. And then I've been, you know, bronzing and concealing the face and then just using like a setting powder. I did use my Bare Minerals one day this week, but the thing is I haven't tried this with a foundation, but I haven't had any skin irritation to it. Um, I did look at my pores and they don't look exaggerated because I did put this on this morning. Uh, Urban Decay makes a primer, a complexion primer, you know, pore minimizing. And I really like that one. It has a silicone slippery feel and I feel like it really will feel like it will fill in my pores. So my makeup goes on more flawlessly. But again, I need to try this with foundation. I've just been trying to get ready a little bit quicker, which is not... I don't know. My quick is probably your not quick. All right. Um, last product would be the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. Um, 
I guess this month, like, I'm okay with the box because I didn't have one that I'm like, yeah. Um, when it comes to mascara, for the most part, there's some high end that I love, but really, you can get great mascaras at the drugstore. You know, uh, great mascaras that to me do better than the high end, and you've always got to make sure you're not paying for the name, but you're paying for the you know, quality product. So this is good. I will use it. Am I going to repurchase it? Mm, probably not. I love the one by Maybelline. It's in a pink blush colored tube. I'm sorry. I can't remember the name of it. I'll try to put it in the description below, but I think that one has fibers and I love it. I get the result that I want. Um, so that's my box for this month. March is right around the corner and we'll see what's in that box and hopefully have some more fun things to talk about. But I hope you have a great weekend. Thanks for stopping by. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, share, come back and have a blessed one.